Yeah, so there's a bit of rioting going on. Mark ate something which didn't agree with him. We don't have the trekkers. Container that has all of our tools that we need is stuck in transit. Oh, this sucks. Our two-week trip to Senegal was arranged to coincide with the arrival of our telescopic loaders, 6x6 Aveco truck, the first four solar containers, and a couple of other containers full of office furniture and essential tools at the port of Dakar. All that we needed in order to make the final preparations for going on to the villages to install these mini-grid systems. There were some reports of minor civil unrest in Senegal in the days leading up to our trip, but while we were in the air, things seemed to escalate very quickly. So we're here in, in Senegal. We arrived at the airport. I called Christiana and said, hey, we're here. And she said, do not go to Dakar because there is a political small problem there and there's a bit of a, a riot going. So we have to stay inside the airport until six o'clock tomorrow morning just to be in safe because this is a military zone. The question is, where's your guitar? I bet it's smashed up in the corner in Brussels or something. So where are we sleeping tonight? I don't know. On the floor, maybe. Stefan arranged for us to get a lift in a minibus taking pilots from the airport back to their homes in Dakar. Driving through the deserted rubble strewn streets of Dakar, we saw the aftermath of the day's protests. Tomorrow there's going to be more demonstrations for probably the next three days, but we just don't know what's going to happen. Certainly, the advice is that we need to stay put. The riot has caused us to stoop to new lows and uh, we're now drinking Heineken. Today is Wednesday and um, we are on day four of our trip to Senegal. We've just been inside killing time. They're just talking about the project and what Steph needs doing. It looks like today is the first day that we can go out. Things have been calm, pretty calm yesterday. So yeah, we're just raring to go. We're now uh, gonna go out and start looking at machines. Later on today, we're gonna open up the containers and okay. see if everything is Still in one piece, but they've arrived in Sangal Kam now, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully, the rolling circus machinery is clearing customs together with the JCBs. Yeah, a lot of things, a lot of things can be re revealed over the next few days now that are important for the next month. So, exciting times. A law change in nearby Guinea Conakry resulted in West African bound trucks like ours being bumped repeatedly to later ships. Meanwhile, the spread of COVID took more and more ships out of operation as whole crews would be put into quarantine. With no guarantees as to when our trucks would arrive in Senegal, our mechanics scoured Dakar to find a replacement option. What do you think? Much better than what I expected. I really, really was thinking completely different. <laughs> I like this one the trackers. After Mark found yet another 6x6 truck and trailer that he wanted to buy, we made our way back to northern Dakar, stopping at a supermarket to get supplies for our new apartment. Variation of the food. You are in the supermarket. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have completely forgotten how to buy But Stefan knows exactly what we should buy. No, buy more. No, 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 Stephen, please lead us away and show us how it's done. You're the expert. <laughs> Did you try and push it? So this is uh, Senegal uh, in the morning. We've got the Atlantic Ocean here. It's just it's beautiful, you know? And it's one of those times we're just so happy to be at work. We can't wait to get started on this project. It's going to be awesome. Senegal rocks. Josephine. It's pretty intact, huh? Yeah. That's incredible. The first container we open is so far intact. Very good news. I mean, they might be revealing other things further down. Some bent metal, all in all. Team in Fullendorf have done a fantastic job here. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. It's hard to transport stuff like this without having damage. There's a bit of salt in the container which we can just wash out, but it's incredible. Can't believe this done. All four containers completely intact for transport. Really good start. So we got to Sangal Kam and um, it's been a morning of kind of mixed news because Good news is we've opened all the four containers that you can see behind me and they're all intact. On the negative side, 
we found out that the container that has all of our tools is stuck in Holland. It's really frustrating, not a great morning. Despite having been told by our shipping company that our containers with our tools for drilling the ground screws into the earth was at the Dakar port since late February, it turned out that the ship had turned back to Holland due to a COVID case on board. The JCBs had arrived, and the only thing left to do was for Mark to act out what we needed and to put the team on another hunt to find a local workaround. The problem is European. The solution is Senegalese. So it is Friday, and um, we are in our new apartment in Sangal Kam, but fortunately Mark ate something on probably yeah, Wednesday, which didn't agree with him. So um, he's kind of lying low this morning, and he was pretty poorly last night, so let's just see how he's getting on. How you doing, Mark? How you doing, Alan? I'm okay. Are you feeling uh, much better? I'm trying to acclimatize to the local uh, cuisine. Give it a few more days and then I'll be able to eat anything. While the team went out looking for a suitable hydraulic drill and Mark recovered from suspected food poisoning, Alan headed out to inspect the first villages that will receive these solar containers. Join us next time to see how we got on.